Hi, my name is Sherry Martin, and I'm one of the media specialists in the Gross Point Public School System. This is an overview video of reading and educational resources that the Gross Point Middle School Media Specialists would like to share with you and your child. Every year, the school librarians partner up with the public library as they host an annual summer reading program, which we encourage your child to be a part of this summer. The summer reading theme for this year is Tales and Tales. This resource is divided into six sections in an attempt to chunk like resources together. The resources inside each section are then just listed in alphabetical order. The six sections in this document are the Gross Point Public Library Summer Reading Sign-Up section, the Library Tools section, the E-Resources section, the Reading Recommendation Tools section, the Other Academic section, and finally, the District Provided Educational Tools section. And I'm gonna spend a few minutes to highlight some of the must-visit resources provided here. But first, just to make you aware, all of the images on this document are hyperlinked to the resource that we are promoting and directing you to. To the right of each of those images is a brief description explaining what you can expect to find once you visit that resource. First, I'm gonna start off with the sign-up section here, and I'm gonna begin by clicking the hyperlinked image. Here, you can register one child or other members of your family for the summer reading program. Or if you've participated in the summer reading program in the past, you can log in with the credentials that you used at that time here. Also in this section is a link to the Gross Point Public Library's calendar of events, which showcases all of the activities planned throughout the summer for your child to enjoy and participate in. Each of the three public library branches plans and hosts activities at their individual branch, so a fun time is just a short distance away no matter where you live in the points. Please be sure to check the calendar often to see what activities have been added. The second section we will highlight some of the resources in is the library tools section here. And first, I'd like to direct your attention to the GPPSS Middle School Library link. This is a link to the school library's main student portal to all of our middle school resources. Your child continues to expand their knowledge of these digital library tools in middle school after a foundation has been laid in elementary school with the resources that are available at that age level. The text complexity of these e-resources is more advanced than in the elementary schools and new resources specific for middle school students are added and utilized throughout the school year. Second is Hoopla. Hoopla is a must-know resource for parents and students as it allows patrons to check out free videos, ebooks, audiobooks, and more. There's a kids safe mode in the upper right hand corner that you can turn on if you would like your results to be filtered for your student. Third is the Michigan Activity Pass or MAP link, which allows you and your family to take advantage of free or discounted admission to Michigan State Parks, historic sites, cultural attractions, campgrounds, and recreational areas. Patrons may check out one map pass per library card every seven days. And finally, Sora. Sora links you to the Gross Point Public School System's digital collection of ebooks and audiobooks. After your child logs in with their Gross Point username and password, they can add our partner library's collection and have access to thousands more ebooks and audiobooks. To add that collection, you simply go to the top right hand corner and click this button. And you would click on Add a Library. When you click on Add a Library, 
you will type in Midwest Collaborative for Library Services and add it as one of your libraries. Since I've done that already before, I'll go back into Sora. I already have the Midwest Collaborative for Library Services collection link right here. So this allows me to go ahead and toggle between these two different collections. And you'll see the difference when I click on the Midwest Collaborative. Their homepage is going to be a little bit different than ours. And the quantity of the ebooks and audiobooks that they have is significant. So please be sure to add that second collection and then just toggle back and forth between them to get what you are looking for. These digital materials, just so you know, get checked out just like library books do. Well, the nice feature about these is that when they're due, they essentially just turn themselves in and you have no worry. Because students sign in with their gross point username and password, they only see books that are appropriate for their age level when they're using this resource, which is, is a comfort to any parent. On to our e-resources section here. We had a really hard time selecting just a few resources to highlight as they're all so good. Your children will have endless hours of reading material at their fingertips with these resources while they explore topics of interest to them. Do yourself a favor and explore these resources with your child to discover all the benefits that they have to offer. Newsbank, I'll click that link first, consolidates current and archived information from thousands of newspaper titles, as well as news wires, blogs, videos, lots of different resources, journals, periodicals, government documents. You simply type in the topic that you are interested in finding news articles and you will have a list provided for enjoyment and reading. The EBSCO eBook K8 collection provides access to over 15,000 eBooks without having to wait in line for a specific title to be returned. Simply search for eBooks by typing in the topic of interest in the search bar or you're welcome to browse by category on the left-hand side or the highlighted or featured eBooks that are presented at the top of the screen. I'm gonna go ahead and click on I Can Sew, just so you can see how to actually open up the book. It gives you a brief description as to what you can uh, expect to find, but I want to draw your attention to this link, PDF Full Text. When you want to see this book like it is right in front of you, you simply click the link where it says PDF full text, give it a moment, and here it is. Your viewing modes are on the bottom right hand corner. So right now I'm only seeing just the tippy top of that book. If I want to see the whole cover, I change my view to move back and forth between pages. You can use the arrows at the bottom. I can type in the number that I want to jump to, or I can use the table of contents to the left. Great, great, great resource. Britannica School, Explora, and Worldbook offer informational articles on all kinds of topics, along with multimedia videos, games, and other fun activities. Here you would go to student. Again, another great resource. You can simply type in the term that you're looking for, the topic that you want information on or want to learn more about, or you can um, click any of the highlighted articles that they have listed below. Gale eBooks offers a collection of premier reference and handbooks that you can view and search online. This database allows users to search across all publications in one click. And don't forget, whatever you do, to check out the Hobbies and Crafts link here. This provides you step or access to step-by-step -step crafts for your child to create at home this summer. 
you simply go ahead and choose the category that you are interested in finding some crafts on and then continue to drill down until you find a page where you are having the items listed. Just like in the other resource that I shared with you, the EBSCO ebook K8 collection, you simply go ahead and click the PDF full text to see the book in front of you. Here, my viewing is, there we go. This is a little bit more detailed craft. Others are very simple. So it really provides um, a great, great uh, option of activities for any age level. And now moving on to the reading recommendation tool section, which is right here. Here you will find a myriad of tools that offer help in finding a good read or a next good read. The wide open school link here provides lessons, fun educational activities, and virtual field trips. The bonus here is that these resources are reviewed, approved, and curated by the Trustee Common Sense Media Organization. Penguin Book Buzz is a helpful site that we just happened to have stumbled upon, and it is created by the Penguin Publishing Company. And here they have a number of book talks on a variety of books. Have your child check out this site to see if they can find their next good read. And finally, please be sure to visit the Novelist K8 Plus link here. Here, you will be able to browse theme-oriented book lists at every reading level. The search features of this tool are outstanding and really help narrow down the list of suggested titles to something that we're sure your child will love. You can search by theme, listen to book talks, or search by award winners. You can also filter reading material by grade level, appeal factor, fiction or nonfiction, series, theme, goes on and on and on. I really do enjoy this resource. Novelist K8 Plus is a database that includes picture books, children's chapter books, children's and younger teen titles in both fiction and nonfiction. In the other academic section, there is a link to the Khan Academy which we included in our document because it offers practice exercises, instructional videos, and a personalized learning dashboard that empowers learners to study at their own pace in and outside of the classroom. The subjects included in this site include math, science, computing, history, and arts, economics, and, and more. Next, Take the 360 degree virtual tour to virtually walk through some of the world's most prestigious cultural institutions like the Met and the American Museum of Natural History. They even offer a virtual ride on Disney's new Frozen roller coaster. And finally, the resources in our district provided educational tool section are ones that your children should be familiar with as they have most likely logged in and used them throughout the school year. We list them here so your child can easily access and continue to use them over the summer. Please note that these resources will most likely shut down for annual maintenance by the providers at the end of July. In closing, the Gross Point Public School System librarians would like to thank the Gross Point Public Library for organizing and running their annual summer reading program. We are confident the school and public libraries have a strong relationship in providing your children with powerful educational resources and in fostering a love of reading. Thank you for your time. Have a wonderful summer and keep reading.